there, mortals. I'm Jensen. Welcome to Her the Rain Man. I almost said the wrong game name. We are going to be firing into a brand new game. This game has really, really good reviews, but I'm not entirely sure how it plays. So, I've just finished the pacifist run for... Uh, the yeah, true pacifist for Undertale, and we are going to be playing a couple of indie games to kind of finish off the stream. I right, do you know if it's a horror or not? It is a slasher, but you get to play as the uh, murderer. I I think. Susie, I have to get ready for work. Press E or space to continue. Okay, E. Take sandwiches. Take purse. Brush teeth. Let's go find ourselves some. What is this? Newspaper. The Rain Man strikes again. Another murder by the menacing Rain Man. Okay. The body was found drowned and cut open, even after a rainy summer evening. Creepy! We'll take the sandwich. Yum. And now we'll brush our teeth. Never never brush your teeth and then eat a sandwich. It's bad. Hold on. Don't start. Let me get my Sprite. Don't worry. Don't worry. The video is going to go up on YouTube for if you miss anything. Okay, that's a strange mechanic. There's a phone here. It's probably cut already. There's a lamp. We can try and leave. There is also a car. Good to know. There's a trash bag over here. Is this where our toothbrush is? No, it is not. We probably... Oh, we can sprint too. These controls are weird. They're super weird. I have to use the arrow keys to move. But all of the others are kind of like E and shift and stuff. Note, Dad and I will be back by Sunday. Don't forget to lock the doors. Love, Mom. Okie dokie. It's 5.30am. We are probably already late. Let's go over here. Try and brush our teeth. Susie, this is where Dad keeps his gun. Never liked it. Alrighty then. Gonna try to join your Discord? Best of luck! Susie, I should leave for work at the diner. Don't want to miss the bus again. Did I put my toothbrush? Oh no, they are actually on the bench. I, I thought that we just uh, put it in the toilet right there over my head. You know, head in the toilet, skibbity toilet vibes, that kind of stuff. Alright, let's gap it to work. Susie, I'm able to sprint with the shift key. How very human. Wonderful. I'm going backwards. What's this way? Hello, old man smoking a cigar. Whoops. What did he say? Who knows? I didn't realise we were going to get ambushed with dialogue. Strode Street. It's a horrible name for a street. Good grief. Can we break into anybody's... <laughs> oh my god! just had a heart attack. My god. Jesus, Andy, you scared the crap out of me. Sorry, Susie, I tripped. I, uh, I was looking for my watch. Sorry about before. Megan is just a friend, I swear. If you say so. So, uh, is there a date still on this Friday? I'm in a rush, Andy. Talk to you later, I guess. What a dick. What an actual dick. <sighs> Dude, jump skin. <laughs> like, this isn't for that. <laughs> What's my favorite game series that I've done on this channel? Oh, that is a really tough one. The Battlefield ones, I, I keep coming back to. I do love it. You're right there. No, I'm not. I think I actually just had a conniption. Oh, I've got a, bl a bleed in my brain. All right, we're sitting at the bus stop. Oh, it's raining. Oh, no. This is where the Rain Man starts. Bus top. We're at the bus top. Scream soap. Get your scream, so Wait. Is she the right man? This is really cool, actually. The Rain Man! Okay, so, uh, the Rain Man is definitely not Susie. Gotcha. I feel like it's gonna be kind of like a whodunit mystery, right? Great. Hello there, miss. How about a fun night, huh? Stay away from me. Stay away from me, you creep. Who names their child Creep? That's Dave's Diner. We could probably go in there, but I kind of also want to get a lay of the land. Dave's Diner, there's a big sign here. Wrong way. Okay, good to know. Woo. I subscribe. You're awesome. Thank you so much, Teardrop. Yeah, my only issue with my channel at this point is that no one knows I exist. <laughs> yeah, that algorithm. Friend bro, bracky rooms, skibbity toilet. Yes. Get all of those keywords in there. Nice. Oh, hey, Dave. Finally on time, Susie. Start by serving coffee to the guests, love. Hey, Dave, right on it. Serve coffee to every guest. Okay, do I need like a coffee pot? Yes, I do. Here you go, sir. Appreciate it, Susie. Okay, and this guy? 
Thanks, Uzi. Dave, the usual, please. Good. Hello, sir. Took you long enough! What a dick. Bless you, sweetheart. What about this guy? Is that a sheriff? Detective Parker. Thanks, Susie. Right? Seen any suspicious folks around here lately? Yeah, there's a pervert outside. Well, it's a dinosaur. It's full of them. Why do you ask? Clever girl. I'm looking into the Rain Man case. Don't want to spook you, but it seems that all victims pass this diner. Keep your eyes open, Susie. Could be anyone. Anyone. Well, it's probably going to be this old lady then, right? This is like a whodunit. This is really cool. Hot and rich versus pregnant. <laughs> Challenge. <laughs> oh, what about this real creepy guy at the end here? The engineer. Actually, he's not that creepy. Creepy Joe. You look exactly like her. Just as pretty. <laughs> All right, Creepy Joe. Thank you for the uh, the microaggression. I am going to be moving on. Susie Love. Hamburger and fries for the guy in the corner. Okay, we'll do that. Yoink. Hamburger and fries for the guy in the corner. Here you go, detective. Or not. Me just stare up my ass for a little bit while I go the wrong way. Whoops. So this is American, right? So we, we need to kind of like do really good service for tips. Here you go, sir. That's looking delicious, sweetie. Best be careful, miss. He takes girls just like you. Previous waitress have found out the hard way. Enjoy your meals, sir. Sorry, I uh, kind of projected a little bit. I think I just mocked him to his face. That's really rude. Susie, would you fetch me a box of burgers from the back, love? Sure. I'll fetch you a box of burgers from the back, love. Okay, we're in the freezer now. Here we go. Box of burgers. Don't worry about it, my dude. What? I'm locked in. Someone please open the door. Oh, piss. That's not good. The door's locked! The hell are you making all that racket for? I, it, was, it was locked. Someone locked me in there. The door wouldn't open. Must have fallen into the lock. And your guest came in. Just take his order, love. What a guy. Most of your tip is going to be the bosses. Yes. Oh, no. The detective is gone. Oh, we've got... Oh, great. Andy, you can't keep showing up here. I'm just hungry, Susie. Can I have a waffle, please? Sure, but that's all. You need to leave after that. You can't avoid me forever, Susie. This guy's a twit. He's gonna die first. Dave? Yes. One waffle, please, Dave. Coming right up, love. I know she had a voice, but I'm just gonna voice her normally. Three hours later. Why don't you head on home, Susie? Don't want you to miss the last bus. Thanks, Dave. Have a good night. Good night, Caleb. Who the hell is Caleb? I'll guess I'll never find out. Newspaper. Latest Rain Man victim revealed. The last victim's identity has been uncovered. Her name was Ashley Turner, a former waitress at a local dinner. Oh, good for her. Okay, I'm done talking to people. Screw them all. That creepy guy's still here. He's probably not the, the Rain Man, though. I can almost guarantee it. No, no, no! What do I have to do now? Uh, hey there, sir. Cantankerous old man. Well, that sucks, miss. Guess he couldn't see you there! Sorry about my manners in the diner, miss. Going through a rough marriage. No problem, sir. Did you miss the bus as well? Oh, no. My wife is picking me up. <clears throat> Take care now, miss. What a degenerate. Did you hear him burp through that sentence? Why were we sleeping on the job? That's how you, that's how you serve people. That's a real bummer, Susie. Would you like to borrow my umbrella? I'm waiting for Dave to close up anyways. I would give you a ride, lady, if you know what I mean. Ha ha ha! <laughs> Change the stream title? Actually, that's a really good idea. I'll do that right this second, buddy old pal. Uh, title. I'll change it to Rainman. Done. Rainman! It's Rainman now! I'd rather walk creep. Yeah, I don't blame him, honestly. Now I just bring up my streaming software so I can read chat. Excellent! Back off, dude. You're gonna be fine then, Susie. I like the walk in the rain. Thanks for the umbrella. Woo! I love going for a jog in the rain in my work uniform. This is, this is the best. Woo! Look at us go! Man, we're getting our steps in. We've already burned like four calories, I would say. No, nope, keep running. Don't stop. Believe in. Oh my God. Hold on to that umbrella. Like in the next game you play, be Man from the Window. I've never heard of it. Kill a bit weird. Hi, Joe's Garage. How are we today? Hey, you're the miss from the diner. What are you doing here all alone? I, um, missed my bus. I've got to walk home. In the pouring rain? Oh, no. That old Joe give you a ride. Except the ride? Absolutely. Goddamn not. Mm, all right, then. Suit yourself. He's probably not the rain man, but... 
I think Dave is the rain man, right? Dave's gotta be the rain man. He's so nondescript. We're still getting that steps in. Bus stop. I'm hearing like weird footsteps. I don't think I'm supposed to know that I can sprint so far. It's on game job. You know you're done when the game says press F to hide. A park car in the middle of nowhere. Looks familiar. Yeah, I think we're pretty much buggered, right? Hello? Is someone there? Uh, walking home was a mistake. I'd better turn back to the diner and ask Dave or Caleb for a ride. Wrong way! He's whistling London Bridge is falling down. Okay. We're getting our steps back. Oh, that is a cool little effect right there. This is like a slasher film. I didn't expect this to actually be good. I thought it was going to suck. What if it's a woman? Well, the game is called Rain Man, so we can pretty safely assume the Rain Man's gender. F. Who are you? What do you want from me? Please, just walk away. I will tell nobody. What the? Oh! I'm running. I'm running. Getting my steps in. Damn, this guy's fast. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the umbrella. This is not a good place to die. What if they're trans? A trans murderer? It never has such a thing ever been heard of. But what? Where am I? How nice of you to join me, Susie. Make yourself comfortable. Why are you doing this? What have I ever done wrong to you? You know damn well what you did to me. All the blood is in your hands. I am reborn, as will you. Cleansed by the water. Wash away the guilt. Wash away my hate for you. Farewell, mother. Ah! Ah, so it's one of those uh, murderers with massive mental illness kind of kind of games. Watery Grave, ending two of seven! Of seven! Two of seven! There's more? No shot. Okay, I think we take the right with Creepy Dave then, right? We gotta get all the endings. This is cool! I actually thought this would be so much worse than it is. This is really neat. Okay, uh, we probably want to skip the prologue this time because we just saw it. This is not advised for a first time play. I think we have actually just, yeah, three hours later. So this is where the game starts, isn't it? Why do you head home, Susie? You don't want to miss the last bus. Thanks, Dave. Have a good night. Good night, Caleb. Right. So, everything's got to be different, right? We've got to collect all of these notes. All right, Ashley Turner was the last victim. Good to know. We're going to take the ride with Dave, I think. No, no, no. What do I have to do now? Okay, bye-bye, cantankerous old man. Wrong way. Gotcha. All right, I'm still going to talk to this old fart, see what's going on. Nothing is really changing. So, we've got to get a good lay of the land. There's not actually a lot of things that we can kind of uh, do to get away from this dickhead, is there? It's a real bummer, Susie. Would you like to borrow my umbrella? I'm waiting for Dave to close up anyways. I'll give you a ride, lady, if you know what I mean. Ha <laughs> ha. I'd rather walk, creep. Back off, dude. You're going to be fine then, Susie? I like the walk in the rain. Thanks for the umbrella. Okie dokie. So, there was supposed to be an F to hide, right? Do we hide behind the sign, or... How do we hide? Maybe here? No. I'll wait for there to be, like, a, a prompt before I kind of commit to it. Hello! There is a car here. There's a house here. Maybe we could try, like, get it and... Damn it, dog! That actually got me as well. I think I saw a YouTuber play this game, but only for like five, six. Well, that's not very long, is it? It's not a very long pass. Okay, Kruger Pass is where we're going into. Killer beware me. Killer beware me. Okay, let's get into Joe's car. Creepy Joe. Hey, the mess for the diner. What are you doing here all alone? Uh, miss my bus. Gotta walk home. In the pouring rain? Oh no, let old Joe give you a ride. Yes, please. Up on in, miss. Okay. Blood, I was joking. I don't know if there's an F to hide. There might actually be. There might actually be a hiding mechanic at some point. This is getting intense. Good thing I saw you walking there. Isn't that god-awful weather? Thank you, sir. Call me, Joe. Listen, sorry about my behavior at the diner. I'm not really a people's person. Don't you mind what I said about that killer? It's just that... Go on, then. I can take it. Well, they're always young brunettes, just like yourself. I'm not spooked that fast. Why would he come after me? Nope, that was Susie. Of course he wouldn't. Just saying, maybe the dye your hair blonde or something. 
<laughs> Sorry. Please just be careful. This town has seen enough death. My life slicks here is kicking in real hot and heavy right here. Thank you, Joe. Very kind. You're welcome, miss. Take care now. There's some crazy folks. Oh, miss, here. Take my lighter. May help you feel safe in the dark. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Bye-bye. You have a great night. All right. Let's see if we can't... What is this? This car looks familiar. It does, doesn't it? Was it at the diner, maybe? Wrong way. All right. Wait, can we close this way? No, we can't. Okay, so home is the next obvious solution to go into. So we need to take the creepy... We need to take the ride from Creepy Joe. We need to gap it all the way over here and make sure that there's nowhere else that we could be going. Someone else's garage right there. Wrong way. Okay, so we have to go into our own home where I imagine we are about to be murdered. Oh my god! Susie, sorry to startle you on such a dark evening. Detective, what are you doing here? Am I a suspect? What are you doing out here by yourself in the cold night and the rain? I just got off work, Detective, and this is my house. Why do you ask? Just a little odd, don't you think? Girl like you should be inside, safe at home. I'm about to, until you showed up on my doorstep. Fair enough, Susie. My apologies. Have a good night. He is number one suspect. He is number one suspect. Why is he stalking man? Maybe the real rain man were the friends we made along the way? Maybe. What are we watching? Nothing now. Okie dokie. How do we access our inventory? We need to use our lighter in the kitchen, I think. Let's go answer the phone. Creepy breathing. Oh, there is creepy breathing. Ah. Hello, this is Jensen. Have you subscribed? No, he hung up. What a dick. What's in here? This is the garage where we can't use the car, unfortunately. I'm going to go upstairs. Where is Dad's gun? It's in here, isn't it? Like, right right here? This is where Dad keeps his gun. Never liked it. Okie dokie. What about in here? Nothing in there. We're still kind of running around in the dark, literally. What about in here? Nothing in here. I paused my anime to be here. <gasps> okay, so we can't lock the front door. Can't really interact with anything else. We can continue watching TV, I suppose. What are we watching? Jurassic Park? God, well, that was a, such a good book. Hello, Jensen speaking. Hello, Susie. What is your favorite scary movie? Jessica, that's not funny. It's men, by the way. It's men. Have you seen men? Seven male births in a row? I s <laughs> I'm sorry, Susie. Just messing with you, girl. How did you make that creepy breathing sound anyway? Breathing? What breathing? Just ask about your favorite scary movie. Stop messing with me. It's been a weird night. Speaking of weird, are you still going to date Andy? No way. You really messed it up. What would you do? Jessica? Hello, Jessica? Ugh. Okay, so Jessica's trying to cheat on us with Andy, or uh, trying to get Andy to cheat on us with her. What a hoe. What an actual hoe. Alright, nothing else around here. Whew. Mine is frozen too. I didn't realise there was a horror movie. I suppose it could be. In a way. Someone's at the door at this time of night? Hello? Oh, that was weird. Hello? Checking through the peephole. It's Andy. What's he doing here? Open the door? Nope. <laughs> I don't trust him. Best to ignore him. Bye, Andy. You dunce. Okay, still nothing upstairs. He's probably going to try and break into the house, right? Don't answer? No, there's no way in hell. Oh. Let me dip on the other side. Good evening, Crystal Pine Grove. My name is Todd Loomis. That's a screen reference. Please unveil news about the Rain Man. Get this, folks. His very first victim. Her name was Mary Baker. Police couldn't identify her immediately as she was found too mangled. Mary was found in the bathtub, drowned and all cut up. Seemed a little more personal than the others. She was just released from a mental institute where she was admitted after drowning her teenage son. His name is Jason Baker. He was dead for eight minutes, but was revived. He went missing shot after. Police is unsure if the son has a connection with the Rain Man. The boy's father's whereabouts are unknown. That woman, Mary, she looks just like me. That sound came from upstairs. Okay, that's got to be, uh, what's his face, Trevor, right? Hello? Trevor? Are you in my parents' room? No. Trevor? This isn't funny. You in the bathroom? No. Okay. 
There is a gun right here. Strange, I swear this window was closed. All right, we've got a creepy monster in here now. And the monster is most likely a human. All right, let's go onto the phone, see what kind of exposition we get. Hello, Susie. Why don't you take a good look in the mirror? All right, let's do that. There was one over here, wasn't it? Hello, Susie. Is that, there's someone in my house. Hey, lovely, what's up? You winning, son? Yeah, I'm winning, I'm winning. We're playing a slasher game. Do you want to play it with me? You sure? Okay. Sorry, guys. Yinset just came in not to watch the stream, but to watch literally me and not the screen. Isn't that absolutely crazy? Somebody just sent a huge rant on one of my vids talking about how I was the Illuminati trying to spread the trans propaganda. I'm crying. What an idiot. Don't they know the Illuminati doesn't do public stuff? The detective outside. He can help. Okay, I doubt that there's actually a detective outside, right? He's probably gone home or he's the murderer. Oh, that was the murderer. Whoops. What? Where am I? How nice of you to join me, Susie. Make yourself comfortable. I don't know why you're doing this. I remind you of her, don't I? Your mother. You must be Jason. Jason Baker. God damn it, Susie. Don't use that disgusting name. Jason Baker is dead. C Caleb? It's you? Yes, mother. My name is Caleb. I am reborn after you drowned me. As will you, mother. Wash away my hate for you. Jason, listen, I'm not your mother. Your mother is dead. What your mother did to you wasn't fair, but drowning me will not take away the pain. Just let me go, Jason. Let it be over. You're ruining it, Susie! You're ruining it all! Hey, we survived! Saved my life somehow, for now. How do I get myself down? Hold up, I still have Joe's lighter in my pocket. I can burn the rope. Wait, but cutting the rope is how we fell in and drowned in the first place. Why is that a good idea? How do we free ourselves? Oh well, I'm not going to question it. Okay, so we need to find Dad's gun, don't we? Hello? Uh, oh. That's creepy. Whistling London Bridge at us. What a freak. Is this the wrong way? No, there's nothing else that we can really do in here. I don't know if he's going to actually let us go free. Maybe he will. That's a song my mother whistled when she was about to hold my head under the water. She was all kinds of evil. I'm sorry that happened to you, Jason. Leave, Susie. The ladder takes you to the old lumber mill. You'll know the way. You'll never see me again! Okay, so it was Caleb. That was one of our, like, three suspicions, right? Burb? No, not here. I don't see any burbs here. Okay, so we are at an old lumber mill. We're at the Grove Lumber. Good. Okay, that is Caleb's car. Good to know. But we're me, kill it. Oh! Hello, Detective Rain Man? Who the hell is that? Susie, are you alright? Yes, sir, I'm fine. How did you find me? We had a call from your boyfriend. He gave us the license plate of the killer's car. Susie, where is the killer? How did you get out? I managed to escape when he was away. I don't know where he is now. Well, I'm glad you're alright. Let's get out of here. Washed up mercy, ending five of seven. Ah, okay. Cool. What generation am I? I am a tail end millennial and I absolutely hate it. We survived though. Isn't that cool? We actually survived one. God, I wish I was raised as Zuma. Like, I don't want to say those guys had it easy, but I was bullied relentlessly for things like my sexuality, how I like to dress, my personality, um, existing on this planet. I was bullied for all of those things. I had to learn a significant amount of martial arts to deter people from bullying me. And all of that came from just an absolutely revolting toxic culture of millennials. Yuck, hate it so much. God, I, I should have been born a um, Azuma. I was just a couple of years too late. Okay, let's go ahead and skip the prologue. So here we are, we're back in the diner. We got to head on home. So Caleb is here. He is in fact the murderer, which is good to know. Maybe the murderer will change depending on what we do or see. Oh, we've already decided to just start sprinting out. We definitely want to take the ride, don't we? I'm not even going to bother with the bus. Never mind. We have to bother with the bus. We'll go ahead and go through. We do want the ride. We definitely want the ride. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm not going to talk to the old fella. Burp means be right back. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a really old acronym from, like, America Online kind of era. That's a real bummer, Susie. Okay, so he gives us an umbrella. He shows us kindness before he murders us, which is actually kind of strange. 
Very strange indeed. It definitely subverts the expectations well. I'll tell you what, do you guys know the acronym ASL? That's, that's one people don't remember. Probably for good reason too. Okay, there's a doggo here. Yep, we didn't really get jump scared by him this time. I think it's our third time seeing him. We are at Kruger Park. Pass, sorry. Okay, so. Here is Joe. Creepy Joe. We want to definitely take the ride. Not really interested in his exposition that we've already seen. We just want to get back home and see what else there is to do. Right, that's, that's pretty much it. We want to see the endings. Okay, we'll skip through this. And I remember we get ambushed at the front door by the detective. Thank you, Joe, very kind. I back, welcome back, Teardrop. We just got a ending. We survived once. Boom. Boom. There he is, yeah. He was hiding behind the tree. I feel like the slasher might actually change based on what we do in here. So this time we'll let Trevor in. We'll see what happens if we let Trevor in. Okay, we've got to go and answer that. Hello? Some creepy breathing. Okay, well then don't talk to me before I've had my coffee. Keep calm and galaxy on the BuzzFeed Harry Potter's house quiz. Pizza is bay. Rotterful MySpace Candy Crush merge. Merge mansion. That's uh, Zuma. Also, so is Candy Crush. America. I don't think that's exclusive to millennials. I think there are other generations that live in America. No, millennial culture is like... Uh, oh, well, I can't say any, like, slurs, but basically every single slur in existence as a term of endearment, that's millennial culture. Uh, everything sucks, the world is ending, why don't we all just commit seppuku, that kind of stuff. Um, if you have an original thought, you should commit seppuku, uh, why aren't you committing seppuku? That's basically millennial culture at its peak. What is bro yapping about? Oh, uh, sorry, uh, I was talking about how... I was born way too late. I'm a tail end millennial, and I absolutely find millennial culture truly revolting. I, I really wish I was born much earlier as a Zuma. I fit in much better. Make a Dagan Romper series, please. Probably not. Probably not. I've got so many games already requested. You can drop it in the Discord, and I'll get around to it eventually, but it's unlikely that I'll, I'll just, like, pause everything that I've already got planned for the rest of the year and start playing a random game. Okay, Andy's here. We'll let him in this time. Andy, what are you doing here? I was just walking by, Susie. Saw some creep lurking around the house. You just happened to walk by my house? Sandy, please stop this. Susie, please trust me. The guy was really shady. Believe me, Susie. <laughs> Damn, he cut the power. Can't see crap. Wait, I still have Joe's lighter in my pocket. The gun. The gun in my parents' bedroom. Gotta get it. Damn, he's inside the house. Oh, is there a hiding mechanic? Ah! Damn it! Oh! I didn't expect that! He's already slashed me. Crap, the gun is empty! Dad keeps ammo in the garage. Okay, we want to get past this dickhead, right? We can't go in the closet. I'm going downstairs. Hopefully he's not down here. Because if he is down here, we may die. Ah, right, here, yeah, perfect. Some ammo and the spare key to the front door. Screw it! I have to go. Make sure he doesn't see me leave. I want to shoot him. I want to cap him. This is the front door, right? Yes, it is. All right, this is it. Hold it right there, asshole. I armed. What do you do? Uh, no mercy. Again. Another. Oh, that is carnage. Wrong way. Oh, no. Oh, he made a mess. He made a real big mess. A huge mess, one might say. Susie, get down. You all right, Sudi? Heard a gunshot. It's okay, he can't hurt you anymore. He is dead. Fish in a barrel. Like ending one of seven. That's the intended ending that you're supposed to get right from the start. Seriously? You're supposed to get into the car with a stranger? That's the intended path? Stealth increased by 100? Oh, yeah. We were talking about how pizza is bae. That's, that's, that's like super cringe, late 2000s kind of vibes. That wasn't even like millennial culture. That was just internet culture. Everyone bought into that one. Okay, we'll skip the prologue again. So we've got three endings so far. Three hours later. All right, we're going home now. We've had a long ass shift. And what's my dingle has kind of already harassed us enough times. Trevor, I think his name is. Good old Trevor. 
All right, let's go ahead. No, 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 no. What do I have to do now? We have to go and get an umbrella. We sprint all this way. Hello there, Caleb. Please give me the umbrella and leave me alone. Not interested in him. Okay. We're still going to gap it down here as fast as we possibly can. And we should come up to the doghouse pretty soon. All right, that's a single car. Oh, that was, um... That was Caleb's car. There's the dog. What what happens if we... If we go back? What, what happens if he passes us and then we go back? I'll try that in the next one. All right, let's get into the creepy van with creepy Joe right here. I wonder who names their kid Creepy. Like, Joe was obviously his last name, his maiden name, but... To name your kid Creepy just really is kind of like... It's, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? It's... you just expect it? Okay. Thank you, Joe. Very kind. Let's go home immediately. So, this time we're gonna get the gun. We're not gonna shoot him, though. Hello, Detective Parker. And your jump scares. Okay, we're inside. We're going to watch a little bit of the old, uh, what are they called TVs over in America? The concubine? The mistress? Okay. Phone call. Creepy breathing. Fine, fine, fine. Yes. Creepy breathing. Thank you for that. Let's go and sit on the couch right here. Good. TV is bay. TV is a bit of a bay, aren't they? That's probably the most harmless form of cheating in the world. Okay, that's Jessica. We still want to wait for Trevor to knock on the door. <laughs> Play the second one. Dangun Roper? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Again, I've got massive plans for the rest of the year. Okay, we'll take a look here. Uh, I'm going to open the door. I don't trust this. Best to ignore him. Whoops. I just chose not to open the door. Okay, so this will get us the same ending that we got last time. I think we've already kind of cocked it up a little bit. We can't just get the gun, can we? I don't think so. This is where Dad keeps his gun, never liked it. And we can't really grab the ammo either. I think we're locked into this kind of like... This perpetual uh, area here. What's this game called? This game is called The Rain Man. What's my opinion on liminal spaces? Uh, relaxing, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna skip all of this. This is all exposition that we've already heard. I'm not investigating the noise. Let's get the gun. Strange. I swear this window was closed. Yeah, now get the gun! What are you doing? Okay, we don't want to go into that room because that's where the murderer is. Hello, Susie. Why don't you take a good look in the mirror? Okie dokie. So, up here, we take a look in this mirror. Hello, Susie. Hello. There's someone in my house. The detective outside. He can help. Get the gun. The gun. It's gone. Oh, piss. That's not good. Okay. I'm going down. And we're going to try and gap it out of here. He locked the door. It's okay. I know where the key is. Or not. All right. He's whistling to himself, which is not the best thing in the world. Who? Who is there? Stay back. I'm warning you. There's cops outside. You're in trouble. I have to run. The garage. All right. We're running. We are running. Yes, good. Whoops. Okay. We've got some time to think. A, s a sharp screwdriver. I could use this as a weapon. I can face him head on or escape through the garage door. Uh, let's not embrace the killer. That is a death sentence. Never mind, I'm embracing the killer. I've already decided. Nice! Oh no. You will pay for that. Take that! Susie, are you alright? Andy, what, what are you doing here? I found a dead cop outside and heard fighting and screaming. Thought you were in danger. Oh, Andy, I'm so sorry for everything. Ah, yeah, so am I. So am I. Don't worry about it. It's a dead cop. It's just a, de it's a, just a dead cop. There's a billion of those out on the street tonight. Okay, after rain comes sunshine, ending four of seven. So that's four of seven that we actually have. Have you ever been murdered in a dream, but your dream just kept on going and you watched from everyone you know's POV? Yes, I have. That suggests a lack of control in your life. So if you identify the element that you have a lack of control in, you can actually prevent yourself from having that dream again. All right, well, let's skip the prologue again. We're making mad progress through this game. This is really cool. 
play Happy Hills Homicide too. I think it's made by the same people who made this game. It is. I'm also going to play Happy Hills Homicide after this one and not Happy Hills Homicide 2 because it's not out. There's only a demo which is out. The game, the game itself is not out. I'm going to wait for it to fully come out before I actually play it. Happy Hills Homicide is literally coming right after this game. That's, that's what I'm playing right after this. Okay, so Caleb gave us an umbrella. That was kind of him. He really didn't have to give us an umbrella. He's, for a, for a murderer, for a serial killer, he's actually pretty good. I've met worse serial killers. Oh, we want to go, we want to wait until Caleb passes us, right? Here he goes. And then we want to just run the other direction. This is what I wanted to see. If there's literally anything that we can do about just not going home. Oh, wrong way. Okay, okay, game. All right, I'll do that. Fine. It's a long run, though. At least we've been, we're being active, though, right? We're getting some steps in. Okay, here's Doghouse. Bork! 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 Says Doggo. The dog says Bork. And we're almost at Creepy Jim's van, which we are definitely going to take because we don't want to get murdered in this hole right here. Okay, let's go ahead and do a big old yes here. This is the freaky part of the game. <laughs> All of the game is freaky. It's a serial killer simulator. I think that Happy Hell's Homicide does actually allow you to be the killer, though. I thought that this one was uh, very much the same, but I, I'm, I'm starting to kind of, like, believe differently now. A little bit differently. Thank you, Joe. Very kind. You're welcome, miss. Take you now. There's some crazy folks. Yep, I'll say. Okay, we got a free lighter from Joe. Oops, I was trying to use was to move. Okay, we go back home. Hello there, Detective Parker. Please piss off. I am going to be watching TV now. Now that is how you survive a horror movie. Excuse me, man. Do you have time for piss off? Don't have time. Gensa gotta go, man. I'm so sorry. I wish I could keep watching the stream. Don't worry, man. I am going to be streaming every weekday. Don't worry about it. This gives off Game Jam vibes. It kind of does, doesn't it? I don't know if this is actually a Game Jam game. Creepy breathing. Although, this is on Game Jolt, and most Game Jolt games give off those vibes. What if you stand in front of the dog? I don't think anything happens. I, th I think the dog just kind of, like, keeps barking. Because that's what he does when we run away. All right, let's go back to the TV. Boop. So, we got to... We gotta not shoot the killer this time, right? We can let Trevor in, and we will just not kill him. Skip through Jessica's dialogue. Jessica's obviously trying to get in bed with Trevor. What a hoe. What an actual hoe. Someone's at the door. Who could that be? Okay, so Trevor's gonna die. All right, good. Uh, we do want to open the door. He's going to die. Excellent, fantastic. Hello there, Rain Man. I couldn't help but notice that you uh, may be coming in through a different way. You cut the power, can't see crap. Still have the lighter, excellent. All right, we're gonna go up, 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 up. Find the gun. I will find this gun. Oh, 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 bug it! All right, he is literally camping us. We gotta wait until he's like, over this way, right? We could probably juke him or bait him. Is he just staying over there? Okay, hear a little bit of heartbeat, so I think he's, <laughs> this guy needs some glasses. Crap, the gun is empty. Yeah, keeps ammo in the garage. Is he still up here? Yes, he is. Okay. Bye bye, Mr. Rain Man. <laughs> he needs glasses. He couldn't see us uh, with the um, with the lighter literally standing in front of him. Okay, some ammo and a spare key to the front door. Okay, good. Let's just go. Oh, piss. All right, he's given up. All right, this is it. Hold it right there, asshole. I am armed. We're leaving. No, we're leaving. Woo! Oh, poos. Bye-bye. Do not kill me. I have a family. I don't have a family. I don't think we were actually supposed to be able to get away. How was the earth life going for you? Yeah, it's pretty good. What, where am I? How nice of you to join me, Susie. Make yourself comfortable. Why are you doing this? You killed my boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend! That idiot did not even give you an umbrella like I did! C Caleb? It's you? But why? You know damn well what you did to me! All the blood is on your hands. I am reborn, as will you. Cleanse by the water. Wash away the guilt. Wash away the hate for you. Farewell, mother. We've seen this one. Okay. 
Okay, Sunken Secrets. That's three out of seven. So that's five out of seven endings that we've got so far. What else could there possibly be? There is... Let... No, don't let Trevor in. So Trevor comes and saves us later, but there's got to be a couple of others. Hello, I'm Skylar, the sister. I'm beating my brother up. Uh, try not to harm him. Physically harming people is, is not amazing to do. I say very calmly and nonchalantly. Three hours later. Wonderful. So we are now leaving. I wonder what Caleb's deal is. Why does he predate this, this area here? Uh, we need to go and miss the bus first. Why we're we wearing our apron is completely beyond me. No, no, no! What do I have to do now? We have to leave. All right, here we go. He's given off nice guy vibes now. Caleb is, is now nice guy territory. You know, I did a nice thing for you. You owe me your life kind of stuff. All right, uh, so... Caleb's gonna go past us. I kind of know this intro scene like the back of my hand now. And here's Doggo. We'll stand in front of him for a little bit. I don't really think there's anything that we can do, right? Doggo! 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 Dog! Dog! Come still hear me! Idiot. What a what a stupid dog. Overwhelmingly dumb. Okay, we're back to the past, so this is where Dave is. Nice. Very nice. We are gonna accept the ride. It's kind of weird how accepting a ride from strangers is actually the thing that saves your life in this game. Because usually that's terrible advice to give. You know, don't ever get into a into a, a, a stranger's car. Because you don't know who they are or, or what they want from you. But in this video game, it actually positively reinforces you that getting into a stranger's car will save your life. What if there was a murderer? Okay, so we don't want to be dropped off here. I love how we told him to drop us off somewhere else because we didn't quite trust him yet. That's also very cash money. All right, here's the detective. Good, we're gonna be watching the television. So, we don't let Trevor in this time. We don't let him in. Creepy breathing. Oh, that's right, we need to do the screwdriver, run out of the garage door, don't we? Yeah, we can do that. We can definitely do that. Go ahead, we'll go back down to sit on the couch here. And now, another phone call. It's Jessica trying to riz us of our boyfriend. What a jerk. What an actual jerk. Like, Jessica is probably the biggest villain of this, of this story right here. Someone's at the door at this time of night. Who could it be? Okay, we will not open the door. No, I don't trust this. Best to ignore him. So now we want to go through with this and we want to get the screwdriver down south, don't we? Because he's going to cut the power. He's going to cut the power. Jensen is a captivating YouTube channel, blending storyline creativity and informative content with diverse topics and high quality production. It engages viewers seeking entertainment. Uh, yeah, ch thanks, chat GPT. Yeah, I figured it would be that. It sounds like a, um, a chat GPT thing. All right, let's investigate the noise. Hello? Okay, the window is down now. But somebody is in the house. I think he's in that room over there. Let's not go in there. Let's not die in that room. Okay, we need to find the mirror. This guy must have a cell phone of some sort. Hello, Susie. Hello. There's someone in my house. Wonderful. Okay, the gun is gone. So our next best option is to go get the screwdriver from the from the garage, right? Get help from Detective Perkin. Wait, do we screw this up already? Are you locked the door? That's right. Okay. So the key to this is in the garage right here. We'll go and check the kitchen because I think that's where he's supposed to be. Ooh, who is there? I'm warning you! There's cops outside, you're in trouble. I have to run! The garage! Hi, friendo! He's got like an Altair wrist blade, doesn't he? Alright, Susie, think! Think! Hide in the trash! Okay, a sharp screwdriver. I could use this as a weapon. I can face him head on or escape through the garage door. No, we will not embrace the killer this time. Oh, okay. Jesus, Andy, what are you doing here? I found a dead cop outside your house, and I saw a creepy guy lurking around. Thought you were in danger. You just happen to be around when my house is getting invaded? Trust me, Susie, that's just a coincidence. I'm not the stalker. We should run to the police station. It's just a block away. Uh, yes, we'll trust him. 
Where are we going? This way, probably. Wrong way. Never mind. We're going this way. All right, Andy. Uh, I don't have to run faster than the murderer. All I have to do is run faster than Andy. Right? That's all I have to do. When did ChatGPT become gay and better yet, who made it? Uh, Elon Musk made it. Let's climb over this fence, Susie. It's much shorter to the police station. All right. Give me a boost. What the hell was that sound? That was a weird sound. Okay, we are now on a different area that we've not seen. Almost there, Susie. Okay, where is the murderer? He's probably going to be waiting for us down, down this alleyway right here, right? Okay. Oh! I knew it! I'm running! All right, sorry, Caleb. We're off to the police station. Buddy! Help me, please! Well, well, come down, miss. What's wrong? It's him. He's after me. He killed my boyfriend. He's at the gate outside. Who's after you? Who's outside? The Rain Man. He's here. All right, miss, sit tight. I'll take a look. He's so dead. He is so, so unequivocally dead. I'm sorry, miss. There's nothing outside. No body of your boyfriend either. You have to look better. He will kill me. Listen, there's nothing I can do right now. I will have you protected and we will look for your boyfriend. Let's go home, miss. Okay, unknown waters. So that's six of seven. There's one left. Maybe we just don't trust Trevor. Maybe that's the other one. Beat offering you unique pleasure through their warmth, texture, and sensitivity. you got to stop posting chat GPT things. There is literally a, uh, set, a, a, a thing that you have to declare on the YouTube videos to say whether or not your videos contain AI influence. Please don't get my channel taken down. Okay, uh, skip prologue. Yes. Right, so we're back in the diner. We want to do the same thing with the screwdriver, but we don't want to trust Trevor next time, do we? I think that's the last and final ending that we're going to find for this game. Maybe it'll be a nice resolution. Maybe it will not be. I suppose we're going to find out. Maybe, as it all turns out right at the end of the game, we find out that we were actually the Rain Man's mother the whole time. <laughs> and mom and dad are actually in their, like, 80s. The note that they wrote on the fridge. You know, love mom and dad. They're actually retirees. Massively retirees. Around our 50s. And we tried to drown him. That dog actually just got me. YouTube, I am not AI. No cat, please trust. Unfortunately, you did just use the word trust, which is definitely something an AI would use. Okay. We're going to get into the car, of course. Hop on in. Yes, thank you, Creepy Joe. Excellent. Joe's garage. That's almost nugget in Japanese. Very close, it's karage. Karage is nugget in Japanese. Did everybody know this? Okay. We got a free lighter, which we're probably not going to use. Good advice, though. If you ever, like, do have somebody dropping you off at home and you don't trust them too much, get them to drop you off a different house, like two or three houses away. Because then if they ever try and uh, uh, come and find you, you won't be there. Adrian needs to come back. It will come back. It will come back. All right, creepy breathing. Yeah, Hydrogen is kind of like, it's one of those games that I'll just kind of fiddle with for a bit. I'll put it down there. I'll pick it back up another time. We're definitely going to want to try and fill up every single one of those mining areas with mining machinery. Even if it breaks the entire game, I'm happy to do it. I've got an enormous chungus of a graphics card, so I think I could handle it. Okay, so this is the second TV viewing over here. That's Jessica. She sucks. She actually sucks ass. Trust is the foundation of all meaningful relationships, built through consistency, honesty, and reliability, and fosters security and mutual respect, enabling deep connections. Yeah, it's something an AI would say. It's super sus, man. That's super sus. Okay, we'll check for the people. We're not going to let them in, because we don't want them to die yet. We don't want them to die yet. We're going to watch more television, so we know exactly who the murderer is. Wait a minute. If we know who the murderer is from the news article, why didn't we just tell the police? Let's get the noise. Okay, there's a window up here. Boop. Strange window is now closed. Excellent. And down here, do we just keep watching TV? No, we do not. Hello? Yes, it's speaking. All right, we've got to find a mirror. It's upstairs. Right here. Hello, Susie. There's someone in my house. A detective outside. He can help. Nay. He can nay. He can nay help. 
He will not help either. He locked the door. <laughs> Hello? It is I, Susie. It was there, stay back. I have to run to the garbage. All right, we're running to the garbage right now. We're going. Good. Susie, think. Okay, we'll get the screwdriver and we're not gonna embrace the killer. We're instead gonna leave out the garage door here. Jeez, Zanny, what are you doing here? I found a dead cop, wonderful. No, we do not want to trust him. Stay away from me, Andy. So, how's Jessica? She good? I haven't seen her for a while. She was asking about you on the phone. Okay, well, I'm, I'm really glad that you two are getting kind of close because quite frankly, I'm sick of you trying to pursue me. All right, bye, good luck. Oh, well, it sucks to be him. <laughs> Hello? That's probably Andy's death, right? Andy's now dead? Okay, so we can't... Oh, piss. Susie, what's wrong? I heard screaming. Caleb, oh, thank God, someone's after me. What? Where is he? I don't know, he was inside my house. I managed to escape. I'm on my way to the police station. Go call, Susie. My car is down the street much faster. Follow me. No. No, no. Wrong way. Oh, piss off. It's the wrong way. Really? We already know this guy's the murderer, too, because we saw the, the news article. I caught this one. Hey there, DJ. How are you today? Here's my car, Susie. Hop in. Okay. This guy's a murderer. This guy's a murderer, and we are about to die. I can almost guarantee it. Okay, we're at the lumber yard. So he's actually taking us over to his lair. Wonder why? Where are we exactly? It's the old abandoned lumber mill. No one has been here since 1979. The right man will never find us here, don't you worry. Yeah, this is sus. I... I never mentioned the right man. You're as sharp as a knife, Susie. I let that one slip, didn't I? You? You're the rain man? I trusted you! Never trust strangers, Susie. Even if you know their name. Now, be still, mother. We're almost there. You notice the screwdriver is still in your pocket. Mother! Blood in the water! An exhibit of the seven! Woo! We got every ending! Nice! I'm doing great. How are you? I'm fantastic. We just finished another game. That was fun. That was actually a really fun game. Interesting how it's kind of like a pick a path as well. I can really feel the romantic tension between Susie and the Rain Man when he stabs him. <laughs> how about the tension when she stabs him? How about that one? Okay, so thank you everybody so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for one done spookers that I have made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you are going to find a link to my Discord where you can talk to me and my community at your leisure. And until I make the next episode or you catch the next stream, thank you so much for watching and goodbye!